Hello Twin Flames, thank you so much for being here. I wasn't going to record this message tonight but I've just received a really big channeled message about karmic partners that I need to share with you. So I'm going to relay the message as it's come through to me and then I'm going to do some cards and I really feel that this is happening right now because as we're going into the energy of Valentine's week and you know, everybody's starting to wonder about what's happening with the masculines, with the karmic partners. There's a little bit of fear energy creeping into the feminine's minds. And the angels really want to clear that up straight away before it takes you down the ego road. So that's why I'm jumping on doing this reading tonight. It's a beautiful message that's come through. I know you're going to like it and I really want to share it with you. So first of all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments. There's so many beautiful souls here. We're really making a beautiful community now on Guided by Angels and I'm so grateful for you all. So thank you. It means the world to me that you're all here. So right then, this message then, it's very, very powerful. First of all, the angels want you to know that their view of a karmic partner is not just a romantic partner that's involved with the divine masculine. It's anybody that's creating darkness. So it doesn't matter what the relationship, it's a lover, whether it's a lover, a husband, a wife, a partner, a friend or a family member. They're all classed as karmics because they are one thing and one thing only. They are distractions from the truth. They are distractions from the truth. They are distractions from the light. You are the light and the karmic is the dark. You really need to grasp that right now. And the reason that these distractions are in, they're born through fear. They're born through fear. So I'll just say it again. They are distractions from the truth. Karmic partners, lovers, friendships, anyone dragging the masculine away from the feminine is a distraction from the truth. And that these distractions are born through fear. And the masculines try to convince themselves that all the, 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 the karmics, the others, can take the place of the feminine and it's absolute illusion. It's not true. It's a distraction from the truth. And they are burying their head in the sands. The very ego-based, the masculines, the very 3D, they hang around in dark places where they find dark things. The feminines are completely opposite. The feminines hang around in the light, they are a beacon of light and they are worthy of greatness. So you can't teach the masculine certain things because they need to learn it from dark places. Now when you kind of realise and grasp this, it brings a perception in that changes things in your mind and it changes your life because you'll change you'll change change your perception and you'll start to see things through the eyes of the angels you'll start to see things through the eyes of the divine and that's what this message has come through for all about angels want you to know that the karmics are teaching the divine masculines things that you cannot they're teaching them lessons that you can't teach them why because you are the light and they have to hang around in dark places with dark people to learn dark lessons for soul growth. How powerful is that? I'll just repeat it. They have to learn. They have to hang around in dark places with dark people to learn dark lessons for soul growth. You are the light. You cannot teach them things in dark places. Because you light up dark places. It's really pretty beautiful when you think about it. And these are souls that are sent in. Karmics are souls that are sent in. Whether they're a lover, a partner um, or a friend or anybody like that. They're souls that are sent in to help your divine masculine. To get onto the road of union quicker. To get to you 
quicker, to find the light quicker. And that might seem crazy, especially if you've been in separation for a long time, if your karmic's with a partner, with child, if whatever's going on. But, you know, twin flame journeys, they're a lifelong thing. They aren't easy. You know, it's about soul growth and we learn these lessons to evolve on a soul level so that when we come together, as when the union comes together, it brings beautiful things in and it can take a long, long time. And these are souls, dark souls, not, not nasty souls. I don't mean like that. I mean souls, darkness that's sent in to help your divine masculine to get to you quicker so they are blessings in disguise and once you start realizing this it brings blessings in and this happened to me a while ago because I was really talking to my guides about the you know the, the karmic that my masculine was was with and the angels were very clear that I needed to see that person as a beautiful soul who'd been sent in to teach my masculine things that I wasn't capable of teaching him. Not in a nasty way that I wasn't capable because feminines are capable of all things. They are powerful, they stand in the light, but they stand in the light. You can't teach in a dark place when you're the light because you bring light in. And the angels made that very clear to me and it made perfect sense. So the angel said, bless this soul that's come in. Bless this karmic soul that's come in because they are teaching your masculine things that you physically can't. And it made me surrender. It made me breathe a sigh of relief and let go all the pain energy that was surrounding that. All the ego fears that was surrounding it, which was the jealousy and the pain and the betrayal and the anger and the, the depression. All those feelings, all those burdens, all those things that were weighing me down suddenly went away because I was seeing it from a different perspective. And that's what the angels want you to take away from this channel message today, the, the karmic is teaching them things that you actually can't teach them because they have to hang around in dark places to learn dark lessons for their soul growth. And because they hang around on the 3D, that's where they're going to run into these dark places. When you're on the 5D, like the feminines are, you're hanging around in light places because you're with the angelic kingdom. You're with the spirit, you, you, you know, you're connected to source energy. How could you possibly be anything else than a beacon of light? A beacon of light in that darkness. And this is one of the reasons why the masculines love you and adore you and worship you like a goddess. Because you are this beautiful beacon of light standing in your power. You, uh, you know, the, nobody comes close to the way that you make the masculine feel. Nobody comes close. You are a part of them and they are a part of you. You are mirrors of each other. You are parts of the same soul. It's so important that you realise that. These karmics are sent in as blessings in disguise. And what they teach the feminine, the angels are very clear. It's They teach the feminines unconditional love, surrender, compassion, peace, no matter what is going on in the 3D. It's a time to let go, it's a time to release, and it's a time now to realise that you are the Divine Masculine's true Valentine. It doesn't matter what they're doing, it doesn't matter who they're spending time with, it doesn't matter what flowers they're giving to somebody else, it doesn't matter, you are the true Valentine and that's just come through so clear, crystal clear. I've seen a vision of a masculine with a rose behind his back wanting to give it to you but it's hidden away. So he's distracted by others and it doesn't matter if it's a friend. It doesn't matter, well it doesn't matter if it's a lover, it could be a friend, anybody 
is that's a distraction from the truth, that's a distraction from the light. They are going to try and pretend that they can take your place. So you've got to let it go. You've got to let it go. You've got to get into a place of peace with this. Otherwise, it will drag you down and it will create negativity. And that's not who you are. You are a beacon of light and the angels are very, very clear. And there's so much pain energy surrounding this right now that this is why the angels are making me record this video right now tonight. It's While well, it's crystal clear in my mind to get this across, that all karmics are a distractions from the truth they are not you they are not you you are beautiful you are unique you are divine and i felt like that was so serious that i needed to get it across and now the angels are saying release release it and let it go you are their true valentine and i'm going to do some cards so first of all, I'm going to call on Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael, thank you for being with me and everybody watching this video. What do we need to know right now about this karmic cycle, about karmic people within the life of the masculine? Wow, they're falling on the floor. They're falling on the floor. What do they need to know, please? What do we need to know about this journey? What do we need to know about the karmic partners? Okay, they're done. Right. Wow. Beautiful. Look at this. Shield yourself. I've got absolute electric vibes going through me when I'm doing this reading. It's so very powerful. Shield yourself. So you need to shield yourself from the way the karmic person makes you feel. And I'm saying karmic person because it could even be a family member or a friendship with somebody, something that takes them away from you. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, a lover or a wife or a husband, you know. It's anybody that's distracting your masculine from the truth, the truth of the connection with you. And so you need to shield yourself. Shield yourself from all the negative thoughts that ego creates in your mind that create the envy and the jealousy and the betrayal and the anger and the pain and all those things, all the things that bring suffering in that the feminines can't hold in their heart for long because you're a beacon of light and you just automatically dissolve this, but you need to be shielding yourself from it. And Archangel Michael will help to bring healing in and he'll help to shield you from anything that's upsetting you or making you see this as a, the illusion of the karmic partner when the truth is it's a beautiful blessing in disguise to bring your masculine to you quicker wow wow look at this it's time to leave the unhealthy situation well this is what the masculine needs to learn but he needs to learn it in these dark places that he needs to leave the unhealthy things alone. And the unhealthy things live in the dark places. They don't live in the light. You're living in the light, feminines. The masculines are living in the darkness. That's why they're hanging around people who are depressed, people who are ill, people who are gossiping and creating drama all the time. They're in darkness. And most of the masculines... Or a good portion of the masculines have a life purpose connected with healing things in dark places. So it's part of their soul growth. It's very important that that comes across. The angels want you to know that as well. And they need to leave the unhealthy situation in the right time for them. So all you need to do is release and let go and just send love. Send love. And use your sense of humour to pull you through. Use your sense of humour. Just remember this. There's no one as amazing as you, Divine Feminine. There's no one as powerful as you. There's no one as beautiful as you. So try and see the funny side of it. 
Try and see the funny side of it and see the blessing for you that you have the freedom to pursue your dreams and your desires and your goals. That if you decide to, you can let a soulmate into your life to share your life with. That you can explore the world on your own. That you can do many things that you wouldn't be able to do if you were teaching your divine masculine the lessons that he needs to learn because you're, you've got your own stuff to do, you know, you've got your own things to take care of, so use your sense of humour to pull you through this situation, wow, I've got goosebumps, look at this, it's eternal love, it's eternal love, this is the bond between you and your masculine, do you know this, I have a tattoo on my shoulder, twin flames love eternal, I've got it tattooed here on my shoulder going across. I had that done years before I met my masculine. I Because I knew I was going to meet him on the 3D. How amazing is that? This is an eternal bond. It's unbreakable. It doesn't matter if there's a 100,000 karmic partners. It doesn't matter if there's a thousand demons stopping your masculine from getting to you. Archangel Michael will come in with all the, the choirs of angels, with thousands of angels and make the way clear for you so that you can get to your masculine and your masculine can get to you. It's so very powerful. It's eternal love. It's forever. It's never ending. It's going to happen. Don't let fear or doubt drag you down and create suffering within your life. Allow Archangel Michael to shield yourself. But they have to learn for themselves that when it's time to leave the unhealthy situation. That's what has to happen. And I'm going to use some Romance Angel cards. And whoever uses these Romance Angel cards, you'll know that these cards are brutal. They tell you how it is. So thank you, Romance Angels, for being with me and everyone watching this video tonight. Please, can you guide me and show me what do we need to know, please, right now about the karmics or the twins or what do we need to know, please? What guidance can you give us? Is there anything that we need to know? Oh, right, okay, they're saying enough's enough, Liz, you've got your cards. Okay, that's what's happening there. They're saying enough's enough. I just got that very, very quickly, okay? Very, very clearly, should I say. Okay, what's this one? Wow, look at this. Engagement, okay? Two things coming through in this. If your partner, your divine masculine is engaged to somebody else, it's a karmic bond that's teaching them something. Remember that. They're also saying that this is a test of engagement between you and the masculine, that your love is ascending to a higher level through karmic partners, through them learning to let go, through them healing in dark places. It's very important you know that. There could be children involved as well. There could be children, that they're in a relationship with children, new children coming in. You know, there's a purpose for children. You know, children are born to specific parents for specific reasons. And if your masculine has got a child with somebody or about to have a child with somebody, then see it as what it actually is. It's a soul contract that has been written up there. And the thing is, you will have all agreed to this before you came into the physical. So, it's about realising that there are other parties involved. It's not just about you and your twin. And, you know, there's romantic feelings. So, you know, there could be romantic feelings going on between your masculine and a karmic partner. But it doesn't mean that it's it's anything, you know, it doesn't mean it's anything amazingly special. Somebody commented on one of the videos and said, how can the masculines move on so quickly with other people? And personally, I know what that feels like. And it's because they can't handle the connection. They can't handle the pure, unconditional love, the feeling of being nurtured, the feeling that they don't have to worry about anything. That's how they feel when they're in the presence of the feminine. 
it's too overwhelming so they think that there's something wrong they think that it's not right they think that it's dangerous they see it as dangerous so they put all the guards up they put all the shields up and they start to create problems and they go into fear energy and that's when they go into distraction and they can't face it. So that's when they do things like block you or, you know, they don't want to talk about anything or they just disappear or whatever happens. And, you know, it's happened to me on and off, on and off, back and forth, back and forth. And this is how it is. And this is the whole point of separation that in separation that you do your own healing work and allow the masculines to do theirs but the big message that's coming through is that they are your true um valentine that's so clear coming through the masculines have got a rose behind the back and the same feminines you are my true valentine so the angels are saying, ignore what's the illusion. It's all illusion. Anything going on with karmics, it's absolute illusion. Your bond with your masculine is eternal and it's never ending on the 5D plane. I hope this helps for tonight. I'll be doing extra readings all week. I've got a free week. I'm not at work all week. I'm going to be throwing videos out constantly because... The angels, I'm so connected right now with source energy. The angels are giving me sign after sign after sign about this amazing journey that we're all on. So I hope this puts your mind at rest for tonight and then I'll see you tomorrow for extra readings. Have a beautiful day and remember that you are loved.